हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे विल डिस्कस आवर ग्राफ थियरी मॉड्यूल वन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हो गए डिफाइन सब ग्राफ एंड पेंडेंट वर्टेक्स विद एग्जांपल विल से अबाउट सब ग्राफ अ ग्राफ जी वन इज इक्वल टू वी वन कॉमा ए वन इज सेट टू बी सब ग्राफ ऑफ जी इज इक्वल टू वी कॉमा ई इफ द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन सेटिस्फाइज ओके देर विल बी टू ग्राफ जी एंड जी वन विल सी द कंडीशन ऑल द वर्टिस एंड एडजस्ट ऑफ जी वन आर इन जी ऑल द वर्टिस ऑफ जी वन शुड बी देर इन जी नेक्स्ट कंडीशन इज ईच एडजस्ट ऑफ जी वन एज द सेम एंड वर्टिस इन जी मीन्स वी वन एंड वी टू हैव एडजस्ट राइट इन जी ऑल्सो दे शुड बी जी जी वी वन टू वी टू एच देन विल से दिस इज अ सबग्राफ जी वन जी वन ऑफ वी वन कॉमा ई वन इज अ सबग्राफ ऑफ जी ऑफ वी वन कॉमा वी कॉमा ई पेंडेंट वर्टिस मीन्स अ वर्टिस उस डिग्री इज वन इज कॉल्ड पेंडेंट वर्टिस इन दिस ग्राफ v4 v3 v5 are the pendant vertices means of degree of that vertices is 1 see v4 as 1 edge so degree of v4 is 1 v3 also have 1 edge so degree of v3 is 1 so these are the pendant vertices next second question consider the following graph g this is a graph this is the graph uh, what type of graph g is it is a general graph next find the pendant vertices in g Okay, in this graph we should find the pendant vertex. Pendant vertex means what? The vertices of the degree of vertices should be one. So your v one and v four as degree one means both have one edge connected. No, v one and the uh, v one two v two and then this one edge. And then your v four two v three is another edge. So this two, this both vertices have one degree. So these are the pendant vertices. See. D of v one is equals to one and D of v four uh, are the two pendant vertices. Next question is how many components are there in this graph? Components there are pendant vertices, self loop, and isolated vertex. Pendant vertices means they have pendant vertices, and then self loop. Here the self loop. Uh, this is the self loop. And then isolated vertex. Isolated means uh, the degree is zero. This is the uh, v six. is the isolated vertex the minimum degree of uh, graph is what the minimum degree of graph v6 has no edge no v6 has no edge so the degree of uh, vertex v6 is 0 so it is minimum uh, degree of vertex is 0 then fifth question is find the average degree to find the average degree first we should find all the vertices degree so v1 as 1 v2 as a uh, 3 degree of vertex means v2 right For v two one edge two edge three edge so degree of two uh, is v two is three then uh, degree of v three is also three then degree of v four is one then degree of v five is this is self loop now for self loop and all we should consider the two or uh, two edges so it has uh, two plus two what four c For this is self loop now it has two edge then one more edge one more edge two plus two four so degree of vertex uh, v five is four then degree of vertex v six is zero it has no edge so we should add all those divided by six why divided by six means we should consider the number of vertices how many vertices are there six vertices so we should divided by six means two two is the average degree next question is find the this over right draw the vertices disjoint of the subgraph of G subgraph of G we should do this joint means we should separate that so this are the if we remove v2 and then if we remove v4 this are the vertices we will get then show the number of vertices of odd degree of graph is always even the question is uh, show that the number of vertices of odd degree in a graph is always even odd degree odd degree means what your v2 and uh, v4 have degree 3 that is 3 is odd degree right odd degree how many times it has two times this we should prove first proof is what means consider the graph g with m edges and n vertices and in which k number of k is what number of vertices of odd degree and therefore v1 comma v2 v3 up to vn are the odd degree and the remaining vertices vk plus 1 vk plus 2 and vn are the even degrees so we should do uh, right summation summation of 1 to n d of uh, vi and then summation of v1 to k how means so uh, here we have right where up to v1 to k so summation of i1 to k degree of vi then for uh, for even k plus 1 summation of i is equals to k plus 1 to 
n uh, degree of vi that we should take the equation 1 this is for odd and this is for even then LH side equation is by and shaking property RHS is odd plus even will give as odd which is constrained which which is a contraction to LHS then k is the number of vertices must always be even degree thus the number of vertices of odd degree in a graph always even then next question is show that the maximum number of edges in the simple graph with n vertices is n, in, n into n plus 1 divided by 2 this we should prove it show that the maximum number of edges in a simple graph with n vertices is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 first we'll see we will define the simple edge okay first we should we will define the edge each edge of the graph is determined by the pair of vertices if, if you define an one edge means there should be pair two vertices no pair of vertices then only will form the edge okay then we will define the simple graph in a simple graph there occur no multiple edges as such in a simple graph the number of edges cannot exceed the number of pair of vertices okay it won't exist in a simple graph the number of edges edges will be m and then n will be vertices so it won't exceed the number of uh, pair of vertices the number of pair of vertices that can be chosen from n vertices we should uh, we should the combination formula we should apply so that we will get n c2 n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial into 2 we expand this n factorial means we will get n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial then n minus 2 n minus 2 factorial will cancel then we will get n into n minus 1 divided by 2 thus the simple graph with n is greater than or equals to 2 what is this the number of edges cannot exceed n into n minus 1 divided by 2 now distinguish between complete graph and complete biparted graph complete graph a complete graph is a simple graph with the order greater than or equal to 2 in which there is an edge between every pair of vertices understood see for k2 the complete edge is this and then k for 3 vertices this is then for 4 vertices this complete graph means we should not we should not leave any edges like this see connected no we should not leave like this we should complete it that is called complete graph complete biparted graph means it is a biparted graph g of v1 comma v2 comma e in which there is an edge between every vertex of v1 and every vertex of v2 okay now see if there is an this are v1 and v2 then if you have an edge between every pair of vertices is called an biparted edge example uh, k comma 3 see how we will draw first we will connect all this then we will do like this then we will do like this mm. that's all this is a k comma 3 k 3 3 graph in complete biparted graph it follows k r s as if you do r plus s we will get uh, vertices if you do r cross s this will get edges me like means some um, this is k 3 3 graph now so 3 into 3 how much it is 9 9 edges will be there 3 plus 3 6 6 vertex will be there like this next question is verify the following graphs of isometric or not we should find we should check that this two graphs are isometric or not first we will let the graph be we, first we will name the vertices vertices and then we'll check the given graph g1 and g2 are not isometric because g contains four pair of vertices of degree 3 are adjacent whereas in g2 is at this adjacent is not prescribed because g1 contains okay now because g1 contains four pair of vertices degree 3 see degree 3 it has four pairs see your v1 v2 v5 and then v6 as degree 3 degree 3 are adjacent whereas in g2 this adjacently is not prescribed see in this uh, g2 in this g2 graph the degree 3 is not adjacent so it is not prescribed no so it is not a isometric next question same like this determine whether the following graphs are isomorphic or not we should check that this both are isometric or not okay first we will check the number of vertices in this graph also there are 10 vertices and this graph also it has 10 vertices and it just 15 15 and then we should check the degree sequence oh, okay for each vertex we should check the degree we will get your three for all we will get three and then here also we will get three 
then we should check the one to one corresponds in this we will get ui to v1 for iu up to 10 there is one to one correspondence between edges in g1 and g2 hence it is isomorphic next question is define walk and their classification with an example what is walk a walk is a walk of a graph g is a sequence of containing alternatively vertices and edges okay a walk of a graph g is a sequence containing alternatively vertices and the edges what is open walk means uh, the end vertices are distinct means it is a walk the end vertices the starting vertices and end vertices are different closed walk means a walk in which the starting and ending vertices is same what is trial it is the uh, open walk in which no edges are repeated see in this graph we will see an example open what is trial it is a open walk means uh, the starting vertices and the ending vertices are different okay then in which no edges are repeated in trial no edges should be repeated See example we will take first v1 e, e1 v1 then v2 uh, e2 v3 and then we will go like this it will come like this like this like this up to v5 then e7 v6 it will go like this the up it, it will start from v1 and it will end to v6 this is a trial then circuit circuit is a closed walk in which no edges is repeated in closed walk starting vertex and ending vertex will repeat but the edges but no edges is repeated in example we will start from v v1 e1 v2 and then e2 v3 e5 v4 e4 v1 yeah we started with v1 vertices and we ended with the v1 vertices Path means a path is an open walk in which no vertex is repeated. It is open walk means uh, from starting vertex and ending vertex should not repeat, and then no vertex no vertex is repeated. V one e up how it will be means V one two V eight. It will be like see V one like this it will go. Next cycle cycle is a closed walk in which no vertex is repeated except the starting and ending vertex. It is a cycle closed walk means vertices are repeat vertices of starting and uh, ending vertices are repeated. In this no vertex is repeated except yeah same thing only. Uh, example is uh, v5 to v5. How it will go? v7 v8 to from v v1 no v5 to v, this clock that looks. So. This is an example. Next question is show that the simple graph with n vertices and k component can have at most n minus k into n minus k plus 1 divided by 2 edges. Proof let the number of vertices in which of the k components of the graph be n1 comma n2 up to nk is equal you will get as n then uh, uh, ni is greater than or equals to 1. The proof of the theorem depends on algebraic inequality. Summation of i is equal to 1 to k n i square less than or equals to n square minus k minus 1 into 2n minus k. Means the maximum number of edges in the i component of the graph is 1 by 2 n i into n i minus 1. Okay, you should remember this. The maximum number of edges in the i component of the graph is 1 by 2 n i into n i minus 1. Okay, n of into n i into n i minus 1. Then the maximum number of edges in the graph is we will take uh, of summation of i is equals to 1 to k n i minus 1 into n i. Okay, then in the place of c, if we do summation means we will get of summation of i is equals to 1 to k n i into n i n i square minus we will take summation of i is equals to 1 to k separate we will do minus we will do separate it then we will do this thing no summation of i to k n i we will get as n in above form. See we got here n1 comma up to nk1 to k now we will get summation n so in the place we will we will write as n here then 2 will come down as it is then we will do we will write this in the summation of i is equals to n i square now we are in uh, in the in algebraic inequality we will get equation this equation we will write here the symbol also included the symbol we will write less than or equals to of in the place of this we will get this equation and then n by 2 then we will do simplification what we will do simplification this do this and this we will multiply 2n into k 2nk okay then uh, k into k k square then 2n into minus 1 minus 2n and then k into 1 minus into minus plus k we will get then as it is minus um, minus n by 2 
uh, then after this we will again substitute we will do multiple signs we will change minus into plus minus minus into minus plus then minus into minus plus minus into plus minus after changing signs uh, we will again we will do simplification n square minus nk plus square nk uh, this will take n by 2 as 1 by 2 as common then will in n will be left out then see now this 3 in the form of n minus k square then yeah this in the form of uh, n minus k square then we will get n minus k if you do minus 2n minus n what they will get only n we will get no so that is n minus k then again if you do simplification this so uh, we will get as n minus k this c if you do simplification n minus k into n minus k will get n minus square n minus k into 1 if this uh, this we should write in the form of this that's all and sprout thank you guys please do share like and subscribe keep supporting